everybody and welcome to today's video which is going to be all about my top 10 favorite vetiver centered perfumes and in case you like vetiver fragrances let me know your favorites in the comments i'm looking forward to check them out so vetiver is this essence from the eastern asian weed grass vetiveria zizanoid that falls under the woody category because of its woody musty and smoky aroma vetiver is the most popular in masculine fragrances and niche perfumes not so much in feminine fragrances well because it smells so manly and I personally find vetiver dominant fragrances are uh, harder to pull off for a woman but I have a really nice mix of niche indie and designer perfumes from my collection that I like and recommend to all vetiver beginners and lovers so with that being said you can check out the description box down below where you can find all the information about mentioned perfumes and I've already created best of iris best of of chocolate vanilla and so on so all the links are gonna be below and here can I request the next best of that you want me to do let's get started and the first fragrance on this list is something very special it is from this niche brand regalian Istanbul that is from Turkey and this bottle is so beautiful this whole collection that has a rose fragrance and iris fragrance that I've already featured in my best of iris they all are so vibrant and cool and look it matches my outfit I really like that so this is the first and most unique fragrance in today's video and that is because this is a salty vetiver that definitely evokes an image of a seaside on a stormy day so you can imagine aromatic cypress that is mixed into salty air that also has some earthy facets to it so overall impression is very atmospheric it is mineral it is very fresh and even though it is so fresh and um smells salty of ocean it develops as more mature fragrance and it becomes really well rounded and i find that mineral vetiver is something quite rare that's why it is something that is worth checking out if you want some manly smelling perfume that will give you a lot of strength and uh, faith that you'll manage to do anything you want and you can actually roll the world if you want to so with that being said we are moving on to another great vetiver perfume that is called Hemingway by Maschi Milano and it is of course inspired by not only a very manly note but also manly author Hemingway it is about combination of three different vetivers it has some smokiness and freshness to it and we have vetiver from Haiti that is rather woody dry and um even a little bit spicy with slight bitterness that is accentuated by ginger and rhubarb gives it almost like a clean sensation but there is also vetiver from java that is dirtier and it is also smoky with some leathery facets and in the base there is soft and delicate leather and lots of patchouli so this fragrance is a little bit dirty but at the same time so fresh and this is a great example of very high quality vetiver in truly niche style that is very manly and if you like rather smoky vetiver facets I think you will enjoy Hemingway by Maschi Milano that is very appropriate for formal occasions if you're going somewhere and you know there are going to be a lot of wealthy people and you want to smell expensive Hemingway will definitely create that vibe around you alrighty the next one is Paste de Gong by Monsillage and I really like this beautiful bottle it looks very dreamy and this is my personal favorite vetiver that I can actually wear and enjoy because as I've told you I find vetiver perfumes rather challenging for me and when you look into the notes the seem to be very typical for vetiva perfume there are some woody nuances pepper ginger patchouli but there is actually one flower that is quite rare it is hibiscus i don't know how it smells but i know that it makes this perfume so charming and so unusual so i need to tell you that uh, it stands out from all the other vetiva perfumes i don't know what it is about it that gives me a feeling of uh, very young and green branches with wild honey on top but i really like that sensation and there is vetiver that is not 
insanely intense right in your face that smells like men. It is rather an indigo that year that is super aromatic and this perfume is actually winner of Mandy Aftel Award um, for the best uh, handmade perfume. It is Canadian brand and they have really nice selection of fragrances so if you want to smell something quite unusual and handmade I recommend you this line. Okay the next one is Jungle Jezebel by Sarah Baker Perfumes and this is actually a perfume masterpiece. One of the best and most intriguing, interesting, unusual, unique fragrances I've ever smelled in my life and it is definitely not about that you were in the first place. It is actually madness in the opening. It has some bright explosion of exotic flowers and tropical fruits and it seems to be sweet and floral but as it develops it gets deeper and it turns into something very naughty and animalic and there is definitely well pronounced um, nutty vetiver that is a little bit rooty in the dry down. I can definitely smell it in there and it is very interesting especially in the combination with solar flowers and teasing animalics. This perfume lasts forever, it projects intensely and it is something Thing, extraordinary and I recommend you guys to check this fragrance out because you will be blown away and you will be wowed. So the next one on this list is Infusion de Vetiver by Prada which is an excellent choice from a design um, vetiver section. It is easygoing, it is fresh, it is also light and there is something modern and classy to it that uh, is suitable for both men and women. So there is sheer floralcy in there and elegance of vetiver and it is quite sophisticated too. It has a moderate sillage and pleasant but not overwhelming projection. So if you want something from designer brand, I find that this offering from Prada is a solid choice. Alrighty guys, we are moving on to the next one that is called Koenig by Josh and unfortunately I don't see a lot of reviewers talking about it. I noticed that Dave from the channel Fragrance Pros, if I'm not wrong, mentioned it a um, few times but oh this is a truly interesting green vetiver that was awarded by Art Faction Award as the best artistic perfume in 2013 and it has really nice selection of notes such as herbal sage, it has some musk, leather, wood, cypress, but what makes it pop is note of red apple that is juicy, a little bit sweet, but the overall impression of this perfume is rather cool and formal and I personally recommend it for spring and fall. It is also great on men and this is a very versatile and actually gentle vetiver centered fragrance. And the next one is Fat Electrician by this brand which name I can't pronounce and I have a decant of it from Scentbird. I'll link them down below but this is a wow vetiver. It is actually a very modern and surprising scent because it is a gourmand take on vetiver and I really like how sweet, nutty but still vetiverish it smells, you know, it smells like vetiver but uh, it's a sweet vetiver and you can imagine vetiver root covered into bitter vanilla and whipped cream with olive on top. So you can tell it's something quite unusual but at the same time it smells manly and extremely addictive and sexy so I think if you want that magnetic fragrance that will attract women I recommend you this perfume. It is elegant, you can wear it with a suit, you can wear it with a t-shirt, you can wear it on the naked body and it will perform amazingly. It has very soft scent probably because of vetiver and vanilla combination. It's very successful in here and I even like to spray it in my car because of the vibe that it gives me and even if you over spray it, it won't be too much. It is still pleasant and inviting. The next one is Licorice Vetiver by SP Perfums and this is something quite unique. It was finalist of Art Nail Faction Awards and it is one of my first gloss from SP Perfums and I still find that this is a very special herbal boozy vetiver which is powdery. So it is not like obviously powdery but it has almost like a layer of powder on this rooty vetiver and there is also a nice dose of patchouli which you know Sven is in great relationship with and there is also amber, oak musk and delicious labdanum but there is also ylang ylang and some citruses so notes are quite unusual and what makes it really interesting is that bitter licorice that is 
actually very noticeable in the opening and I guess it is one of the best vetivers out there and one of my first vetiver loves and I highly recommend it to people who are familiar with vetiver perfumes and are looking for something new. It is different, it is recognizable and it is so very long-lasting as all SP perfumes. The next one is Vetiver Fatale by Atelier Cologne, which is another solid vetiver fragrance that is deeply woody and it is a vetiver between citruses and plum. So it has some intrigue going on without standing out too much and it is actually appropriate for some formal business meetings and uh, suitable for drinks afterwards. So it is rather masculine and long-lasting vetiver fragrance. That smells niche but at the same time mass appealing. And the most mass appealing fragrance uh, that completes uh, this list is of course Sauvage Eau de Parfum by Dior that is quite mainstream, manly and the majority of us are familiar with it but I'm not obsessed with it, however, when I think about designer Vetiva perfumes, this is one of the fragrances that really comes uh, into my mind. And you know, it lasts long, it is well received between men and women, and uh, if you're looking for some great Vetiva designer fragrance, Savage is one of the best. And that completes this video, which I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you like it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and please let me know your feedback about this video and to request the next best of in the comments. I'm looking forward to chat with you and thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, smell good. We'll see each other next one really soon. Bye guys.